Hey guys, it's Bianca and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something that I'm very, very passionate about. So if you guys don't know me personally, I watch a lot of Game of Thrones series. I'm now watching the final series and I thought it was about damn time I did a Game of Thrones inspired look. So on one half of my face, I'm going to do a look representing House Targaryen, no, yeah, Targaryen and House Stark. So one side is going to be ice and one side is going to be fire. Um, it's going to be a lot of contrasting colors, a lot of different undertones and stuff like that. So I'm super excited. So let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is start off with my brows. So on one side of my face, I'm going to do a more defined brow for the fire. Or I don't know, a defined brow for the fire or a fluffy one. I just feel like, okay, let's do a fluffy one because fire is kind of under, out of control and you get the kind of element of roughness. So let's do a fluffy brow on this side. So this is going to be my fire side and this is going to be my, uh, my, my winter side. Okay, so for my brows today, I'm going to be picking up my Benefit Cabral in the shade 4. I posted a picture on my Instagram feed today um, that I absolutely love this stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to take some on my brush, grab my mirror, and then I'm going to brush my eyebrows up so I get that kind of effect. But I'm going to try and keep it as fluffy as possible like this, as I can. Okay, that is a super simple fluffy brow. And then for the next brow, I'm going to be doing a hard defined. Because when you think of ice, you think of it as cold, harsh. So you want to have a harsh brow. This is obviously just my preference on how I want to portray my look. Um, if you guys are wanting to do this kind of look, you can obviously change it up as much as you like. Um, so again, I'm just going to brush it up so that I can see where my brow brows are. And then I'm just going to find the bottom first. So obviously this brow is going to be a lot darker. Just because the, the eye look is going to be a lot darker as well. Just thought I'd zoom you guys in a little bit. So for the blue side of my face today, I'm going to be um, trying to recreate this look. Jeffree Star reposted it on his page and it is by, it's Chris Figueroa. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but I don't I don't have this palette unfortunately so I'm going to be dipping into a bunch of other colors that have blue colors so I'm going to be doing this um, kind of look but adding my own kind of elements with adding some crystals and some glitter so let's just jump right in so the first color I'm going to start off with on my eyelid is from Laura Lee's palette this is the shade damage control that I'm using so I'm just going to pop that all, all over my eyelid So I've already primed my eyes with the concealer and set it down, so I'm just going to take... Oh fuck, I picked up the wrong colour. It's fine. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to apply this into my crease. And then I'm just going to build it up so that it gets really, really intense. And then we'll blend out those edges with the colour that I was supposed to pick up, damage control. Okay, so that what is... <laughs> that is what that is what the blue is looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. I'm just gonna take the remainder of my 
liquid camouflage concealer and then put it on the back of my hand so that I can easily grab more when I'm applying it on my brush. Um, I think for the cut crease I have a silver glitter that I'm going to line it with on the top of the cut crease. And then I think I want to do a wing but I'm not sure yet. I'll see how adventurous I'm feeling and if it goes to plan. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease using a thin angled brush. This just helps get the like that really intense cut crease. So I'm just going to start by marking off where I want to cut my crease. So that is, what is, <laughs> that is what that is what the blue is looking like. I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease. I'm just going to take the remainder of my liquid camouflage concealer and then put it on the back of my hand so that I can easily grab more when I'm applying it on my brush. Um, I think for the cut crease I have a silver glitter that I'm going to line it with on the top of the cut crease. And then I think I want to do a wing but I'm not sure yet. I'll see how adventurous I'm feeling and if it goes to plan. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease using a thin angled brush. This just helps get the, like that really intense cut crease. So I'm just going to start by marking off where I want to cut my crease. Yeah, let's use let's use the shade bronze. So we're gonna use that bronze shade. I'm just gonna grab a brush. And so I'm gonna pick this um, bronze shade. I actually haven't used this one yet. I'm gonna pick this up. I'm not gonna do a cut crease. I'm just going to put the shimmer all over the eyelid so that it kind of glows like a fire does. And then, oh lord, that is beautiful. 
I'm just going to place that on the eyelid where I want to put it and blend it out with my finger. That is a stunning color. And I want to bring it quite high into the inner corner of my eye and blend it towards my actual eyelid. Just so that it looks like it's like a fiery golden mess. I'm just going to put a bit more on my brush. Spray it. I want the shimmer to dominate this look. Okay, and then I'm just going to blend those edges that we put the cafe people and just blend the brown into this gold shimmer. It feels so weird not doing a crack crease because I love doing them so much. It just feels like it's so weird to not do it. I'm just going to take a bit more yellow. I'm quite disappointed in this yellow actually. Um, like it's pigmented but I feel like it just blends away. Alrighty, I'm just going to blend those edges some more. Okay, so what was I going to do on this eye again? We're going to do a wing on this eye and keep this the cut crease. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take a little bit of this silver glitter that I bought off of Wish. <laughs> this is the glitter. Uh, I'm going to gently and try and as thinly as possible line the cut crease with this. Pray for me. Let's do this. Take it down all the way on the other left. Okay, let that dry. Okay, then I'm going to line my eyelids, um, do a wing liner on this eye. Okay, so I've just put on my foundation and concealer and I realized that I fucked up. Okay, so remember at the beginning I was like, Fluffy brows because fire is uncontrollable and fluffy brows can kind of be messy. Well, I did the wrong side of the eye, but then I started to think I have a very, very dramatic wing, which is very sharp, and I feel like it would have needed a much more of an insta brow. So suddenly I don't feel so stupid, and I also poke myself in the eye. Let's move on. Okay, so for this side of my face, I'm going to be using a very, very warm kind of contour and then using more of a cooler contour. So for this side of my face, I'm going to be dipping into my Hoola Bronzer, which is a lot warmer than the powder version. So I'm going to bronze up my face on this side and then I'm going to do a very, very harsh contour on the other side because I just feel like we need some structure on the icy side and a lot more dramatic because the fire side is kind of dominating the dramatic bit of it and I kind of want them to be equally dramatic and then for the hula side the actual bronzer I'm going to take a bit of that and first I'm going to and then I'm gonna blend it I'm just gonna change brushes quickly and I'm gonna pick up where's that light this one this one has a bit more of a better blend I'm just gonna stamp powder 
And then I'm just going to bronze the forehead with some hula bronzer. The powder version. Just so that my face is got a bit of dimension. Doesn't really matter how far, but it's just that it looks so I look like a normal human being. Then for blush, I'm going to just take my standard California from the Get the Pretty Started palette. Um, I don't think blush really matters in this case. Um, I'm just not going to put as much on the icy side. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly apply some of the same style lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so both eyelashes are on. I'm loving this set. This is um, a new set from Premium, I mean, um, Eyelash Boutique in the shade range shade range style premium five these are so freaking gorgeous um so i'm just gonna finish up the under eyes now um i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the blue eye i'm just going to grab um a bit of karaoke which is that dark blue shade and i'm just going to apply that to my lash line Then, um, I'm going to be taking um, some of the orange from that same palette called Dranks. And I'm also going to apply that to the bottom lash line. And I'm going to drag it down quite low as well. Just to get that fiery effect. I'm also going to add a bit more blue actually. I feel like we need to play on more of this beautiful colour. Um, then for the lash line, I'm going to line my eyelids with this pencil from Essence. I'm hoping that it shows up. Warm it up in the back of my hand. And I just broke some of it, okay? Moving on, this is why I hate Essence Pencils. It doesn't really do much, but alright. Then for this eye, I'm going to line it with some black, just to make it look like a ring of fire. I'm just going to take that same brush that we used for the wing liner and just apply that. Oh, this is so itchy. I'm going to put a bit of white mascara on this eye, but first let's apply some gems. So I have these little gems, um, and I'm going to apply them on the inner corner somewhere. Uh, I'm, sorry, I'm, going to, I'm going to apply some stars. So I'm going to put a bit of lash glue on the back of my hand. That's uh, from my Cover Effects palette, and I'm just going to apply that on my inner corner. I don't even know, oh, I lost one. I don't even know how I'm supposed to get in there, actually. It's kind of, because uh, the lash is in the way. I probably should have done that first. Why is this so hard? How did these people do it on Instagram? Okay, so I've given up. I've just put a purplish blue glitter paste in the corner, and we're going to call it a day, okay? Let's move on to the rest of the highlighter. Um, I'm going to be taking my Glow Up Ofra palette and using this gorgeous bronzy gold shade and I'm going to use that in for my inner corner this is the shade I think this is the shade Rodeo Drive I'm just going to play some of that on my inner corner and on my brow bone Then, for the brow bone on this side, I want to take a bit of, the, there's actually a white highlighter, which I should have used for the inner corner, but it's okay. I'm going to be taking this, this is the, and it's large Beverly Hills, this is the Beverly Hills highlighter. I'm just going to place that on my brow bone. 
Okay, then for mascara, I'm going to do a normal black mascara on this eye and then I'm going to grab a primer from my Essence palette. Uh, it stays white, um, so that will help. I'm just going to pop some mascara on this eye. Volume Boost Primer from Essence. Okay, let's do highlights for the rest of the face. Um, I'm going to be taking this Rodeo Drive highlighter again for this eye, but very, very lightly because it is kind of dark. But I'm going to mix it in with Star Island. Then on the other side, I'm going to take that white colour from the Beverly Hills palette. Wow, that is white. So you should... Damn. And then I'm going to put the white on my lips. And then I'm going to take the golden one for the nose. I don't know where to look, guys. Like these, eyes, both these eyes are like so striking. It's like hard to to look at it. Okay, then for lips, I think I'm gonna do. A cool tone brown on this side and then I'm gonna do like I'm gonna do an ombre into each other or should I do one half lip I don't know we'll see <laughs> alright you guys here we have the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I had so much fun creating this look I'm like low-key feeling both of these eyeshadows as a normal look um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you watch Game of Thrones you'll understand this <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching let me leave me any recommendations of other videos you'd like me to do i'm always happy to see them and try and accommodate you guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye